Spinu Varghese is here, a criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor. This guy, the coach from Yale, he's cooperating, right? Yes. Yeah, he signed a plea agreement. Uh, th what's really interesting in this case is that the judge who actually put out in a memo prior to the plea that he's a Yale graduate and that he was concerned, he expressed concern because he donates to Yale, but he said he could still be fair and impartial in this case. Yeah. This, this guy um, took, it was involved in two things. One, where he was paid about $460,000 to allow somebody to claim they were an athlete when they weren't. Right. And then the second appears to have been an FBI sting, part of a sting, and he took them in. Now, you heard the, the reporter talk about this judge uh, expressing concern. He also expressed additional concern about the statute. What this guy is pleading guilty to is honest services wire fraud, and basically that he deprived Yale of the Houston right of his honest services as an employee. Now, this is a statute that's normally used for politicians. So multiple politicians have been charged with this involving bribery and kickbacks. But occasionally, you get something like this in an employment context. Well, the, the issue here, and the legal issue, and the judge is kind of like pushing him to kind of, hey, maybe you should consider something else, is what did Yale lose here? I mean, they may have had an issue with him as an employee, but did they really, were they, what, did he really lose much more than that? So that, that's a very interesting legal question, but he's waived all of that today. <clears throat> the main guy in all this is the guy, Rick Singer. Right. Who's also cooperating, but he can't keep his mouth shut, right? Right, he's a big mouth. You know, when he, on the day of his, of his uh, initial arrest, he talked about, you know, being happy and ecstatic to cooperate. I mean, this was the guy who set all this up, is the mastermind. So... You know, you got to ask yourself, what's the big fish here, right? Is it him or is it all the people? Obviously, some of the celebrities and you got all the cachet that goes with that, right? But I, I do want to bring one thing out here, which is that the federal government in the, in the, doc, in the indictment or the, I'm sorry, the information against uh, uh, Singer basically mentioned Georgetown, Stanford, UCLA, <coughs> USC, UT Austin, Wake Forest, and Yale as highly selective private universities. But the University of San Diego was only a selective private university. It's very insulting to the well, University the last of San Diego. Time, <laughs> the last time University of Texas was a private institution, I, I think it's been a while since Texas was a private institution. I'm sorry, they Though said highly selective public like university. Oh, okay. They, right. did, they did make that distinction. They sometimes but feel that way. They do have all the money. Right, but it's highly selective, whereas UC San Diego is only selective. Oh, well. All right, Vidu, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you.